everyone, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we got our first mission from our new Doyen, and it turns out we have to go steal a ring from the Countess of Leowin. So that's the thing. Also, we got content about the Dark Brotherhood. Now, if possible, I'd like to finish the Thieves Guild storyline before we do that, because otherwise it's going to get very confusing, because the missions are going to be all intertwined, and we won't know what the hell is going on, so... Yeah, we're going to finish the Thieves Guild, then we'll move on to the Dark Brotherhood. Now, apparently we have to go get some information from a beggar. Yes, again, because apparently I haven't given enough freaking money to these bastards. Like, seriously. They should be living in mansions by now. I've given them so much money. It's ridiculous. It's goddamn ridiculous. I think there's one around here somewhere. And yes, that burning building is part of a mod. I'm not going to say which mod it is. Just ignore it for now. Pretend you haven't seen it. Okay, there you are. Right. Give me some goddamn information before I punch you in the I'm face. I'm so hungry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Tell me about the ring. So, Alicia Caro has recovered her ring. And now you want to know where she keeps it so you can steal it back. Pretty much, yeah. My pockets are a little light at the moment, if you know what I mean. Ugh, fine, take my money. I don't know where she keeps the ring, but I know who does. Talk to Ladara Mothril, the Countess's handmaiden. Okay. She eats dinner in the castle at the Eighth Bell. You may have to sweet-talk her, but she knows all about Alicia Caro's habits and schedules. You should know that there are other secrets in that castle. Really? What kind of secrets? Sexy secrets? I've heard of a hidden torture chamber. They say that Count Marius interrogates Argonian immigrants from Black Marsh. The servants whisper that the Argonians are dragged into the basement and never seen again. My get. You should stay out of there, just in case. No, I'll be fine. I'm the hero. Anyway, thanks for taking my money. Now get out of my damn Blessings sex. Of Stendhal yes, upon... yes indeed. And yes, we do have the way back. I think I did that last episode. Frankly, I don't remember. Anyway, let's go find this witch. Tiding citizen. Ah, I found her. Wait, yes. that's not her. Oh, it's you. Oh, Hello. Hi. Are you an adventurer? Maybe I am. Maybe. Where the hell are you I going? I am Ladora Mothril, Lady Leowen's chaplain and chief advisor. I assist her ladyship so that her enlightened policies might achieve the greatest possible influence upon the affairs of County Leowen. Well, naturally. I have no idea what the hell you just said. Okay, uh, tell me about the secrets. Some words should be shared only by friends. No, oh, come on, we're friends. Fine, tell me about the Lady ring. Lady Alessia frowns on her staff talking about her personal life. You understand, I'm sure. Yeah, damn it, fine, take my money, yes. just take my goddamn money. I can't Thank believe you. how much we've had to spend, oh, like holy shit. Now tell me. Shh, it's dangerous to be heard talking about that. Sorry. The Countess has a secret passage somewhere in the basement that leads to her private quarters. That's where the torture chamber is. Kinky. Sometimes I can hear the screams of the prisoners when I'm in my chambers. You know what? Second thoughts, that's actually more disturbing than is kinky. Anyway, tell me about the damn ring. Countess Caro is so relieved to have the ring back. It's been missing for many years. She wears it constantly. Well, not all the time. I mean, she puts it in her jewelry box for baths and at night. No proper lady would wear her jewelry to bed. I get the feeling you don't know what constantly means. Anyway, where can I find her? Morning, she's at the town chapel. At the castle, she hosts the evening meal at 8. She retires sometime after 11. She travels to Coral on the Ides of every month. Don't even try to find her between the 15th and 17th. Yeah, well, I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, so in other words, after 11, she's going to be asleep and then we can go steal the ring. Yes, you get out of here. So I'm assuming the uh, secret passage she was speaking about in the basement is probably going to be an easier way to get to her chamber than getting spotted because... Uh, I think there's a whole bunch of guards patrolling the corridor to get to her chambers normally, so this should, in theory, be the easiest way to get there, so... Yeah, screw it, we're going in. Hopefully there's no guards down here or anything. I don't think there will be, but you never freaking know. Now, I don't remember exactly how this works, but I've got a strange feeling there's a secret wall or something around here somewhere, but I don't remember where it is or how the hell we get to it, so, uh, that's a thing. Finally! What's in the box? A whole bunch of booty, apparently. Yes, we will take that. Now, if we run out of space, we can always just pass it off to the maid, so... Oh, yeah, why the hell not? Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a secret door and lever around here somewhere. It might be one of the torches. It might be an actual lever. I don't remember where it is, but I'm sure it's in this room, because there doesn't seem to be an exit otherwise. Where the hell is it? Hello? I've got a feeling it was one of the torches. I might be wrong about that. God damn it, so I'm getting stuck on everything. Nope, not that one. Is it this one? No. 
Where the hell is this damn lever, man? I know there's one here somewhere. Uh, aha! There we go, you can't hide from me. And there's the door. See, I remembered something. Didn't remember it properly, but I remembered something, and that's good enough. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure this will lead us back around to the back of her chamber, and then we just kind of have to wait there until 11 o'clock, and then she'll go to sleep, then we can get the ring, and then get the hell out of here, so... Yeah, it's kind of convenient this is here, because like I say, I'm pretty damn sure you can go around the normal way, but there's just a guard, or maybe even two or three guards that are just going up and down the corridor, freaking constantly, and it makes it really, really hard to get past them. Well, I guess we found the torture chamber, and where the hell's my maid gone? God damn it, you better show up, because I'm going to need you. I need your space, god damn it. Okay, right, there's one gold in that box. Well, what a chip. I don't see any dead Argonians, but I see a whole shitload of blood. Okay, there's a pitchfork. I did not even know there was a thing in this game. Hey, a silver warhammer. Yoink. Okay, what's in this one? I'm breaking way too many damn lockpicks today. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. Okay, we cannot carry even close to all of this. Right, I'm going to put some more junk back in here so we can actually move there, find the maid, offload some shit to her, then we'll carry on. Okay, booty has been acquired and offloaded onto the winch, let's get the hell out of here. Now, I think this is the way we need to go? I, I'm already lost, like, what the hell? Okay, yeah, we did come in there. I, this is what I'm saying about my freaking sense of direction. I, we come in one door, there's only one other exit, and I always get lost. It's insane. It's absolutely freaking insane. Anyway, once we're done here with the actual mission, I think I'm going to lift as much silver as I possibly can off screen, and then we'll go sell it to the, uh, the fence or whatever that's called, and we'll see how much money we can actually make, and see if we can buy some new gear, because it's been a while since we actually got an upgrade, at least in the armor terms, because damn, I like this armor, but we can't really fix it right now, because it's enchanted, at least, you know, the curious is, so we need to get, basically the way it works is, if you want to actually repair enchanted armor, you have to have, like, I think either 50, I think it's 50, uh, armor skill, which we don't have, so it's just gonna keep degrading and get worse and worse, so in the meantime, we're gonna need to get something else until we can get our armor up, so yeah, speaking of silverware, yoink. Okay, this looks like the place, I assume we must be there now, because uh, there's chairs and things around, instead of looking like, oh god, instead of looking like a crappy basement. Now, we are not supposed to be here, so we will probably get attacked or at least thrown out if we get spotted, so we can't afford to get spotted, basically. I assume that's one of the maids or something? I have no freaking idea. I, I kind of want to lift stuff. Now, I assume that means if the maid's going that direction, this must be the Countess's room. Maybe. Kind of hard to tell. Let's find door number one. Probably death. Hello? I'm just here to steal everything you own. I'm not going to kill you. Maybe. Unless you try. Then I'll probably kill you. Okay. I don't see anyone or anything. Ah! Okay, so this is the jewelry box. So I'm assuming we can open it now, but there's not going to be a damn thing in there. But screw it, we'll try just in case, because... Yeah, I'll be very surprised if the ring's in here now. If it is, then that's handy, but, uh, it's probably not. Good God, I actually think I'm getting progressively worse at lockpicking. Okay, dividing the Elder Scrolls. Yoink. Right, so that's not all we needed, and I didn't think it was. So, again, we probably have to wait around here somewhere. We might be able to do it in the corner of the room, but, uh, I've got a strange feeling that you can't even wait whilst you're trespassing, and I have no idea what the time is, and I can't check without waiting, so... Yeah, I probably got to backtrack all the way back out of the basement, back into the main hall, wait around there until maybe 9 or 10 o'clock, then we'll run back here and then wait around a little bit more, and then hopefully we'll be around on time, but uh, we shall see. Okay, there they are, perfect. Now, I did steal some shit off screen whilst I was waiting around, like, you know, silverware, and there was a steel shield and random crap like that, but trust me, you missed nothing. Okay, God, get the hell out of here. Okay, I think he's gone now. I would assume he's probably gonna double back because they usually have patrol routes, so uh, we may have to be very quick here. First of all, I'm gonna shut that damn door because I don't want her seeing me from her room, and hopefully she won't come out, but uh, who freaking knows. Now, we gotta wait until the Count and Countess are asleep because they are both in there. Hello? Are you are you asleep yet? Hello? Oh, shit, no she's not. Okay. I'm gonna wait here on this corner very quietly. I like the fact that they can't actually see my companions because if they could, we'd be boned. Okay, I'm gonna wait here for a second... Maybe that's long enough. Please be asleep now. Uh, yes, okay, she's down. Right, let's go get this damn thing. Now, we could pickpocket them as well, but that would almost certainly get me caught, so screw that nonsense, basically. Ha-ha! Okay, we got the ring. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm hoping the guy is going to be coming back again. Otherwise, we may be boned, basically. Ah, shit. Okay, 
I don't think he saw me, right? Just hide in the corner. Now, I'm hoping he doesn't actually come in this room, because, uh, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. I can't get in the corner. I'm stuck. Please don't come in the room, goddammit. He should do, because, you know, it's their room and they're sleeping, so it won't make much sense, but you never know. He is a guard, after all. Okay, I, I don't want to open this door. Hello? I, I don't see a shadow. Oh, thank God. Okay, I think we can be fine. Holy shit, that was close. Okay, it took quite some time, but we are out of there, and I robbed just about every piece of silverware that wasn't nailed down, so we're gonna go fence all of that once we're done here. Hey, Why baby, does remember the prey me. Approach me. Stop calling me the prey, you freaking bitch. I got your does ring the back. Does hunter have this one's ring? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, yeah, screw it, just take the damn thing. My ring. Oh, thanks to the claws of the clan mother, you have recovered it. Mal Is that slimy Argonian dead? Did he suffer long? I hope so. You have earned the reward. The Thieves' Guild was always good to Adaji's dearest mate. I am grateful that the memory is still honored. Fantastic. Okay, I assume we have to go back and get our reward now, because frankly, she didn't give me a goddamn thing. Can I steal this stuff? No, I can't. Well, I could, but uh, I was hoping since we helped her, she might give it to us for free, but no. What a bitch. What an absolute bitch. Anyway, I guess we gotta go back to Reveal, so I'll see you when we arrive. Hi, diddly ho, neighborino. You have returned? No, I'm actually not here. I'm a mirage. Good work. You are truly an asset to the guild. I will make sure the Grey Fox himself hears about this. I am promoting you to Prowler. Congratulations. Congratulations! Okay, here's the question. Can I actually fence things to you? Because I don't want to go back to the other guy. It's a long way away. No, I can't. Well, I damn it. I have a small problem that you may be able to help with. The guild will even pay a reward. That buffoon, Hieronymus Lex, has invaded the Imperial City waterfront. Imperial watch guards from all over the city prowl the streets. What, again? That guy just doesn't give up. How bad is it? Hieronymus Lex has vowed not to leave until the Grey Fox is in custody. The Fox is safe, but the Thieves' Guild cannot do business like this. The poor of the waterfront are kindred to the Grey Fox and will not betray him. However, cubs soon get hungry. Soon someone will break. Many Guild members could be jailed. Find Methrodil in the Imperial City. She is coordinating the guild's response. Well, okay, but I don't think she likes me very much. Okay, I'm gonna go fence all this crap, Shadow then we'll see what we can buy, hunter. and then we'll carry on. Okay, sometime later. I fenced everything we could that we didn't need, and we have 2,185 now. I think we had 716, if I remember correctly, so... Got almost 1,500, which, you know... When you only had 700, it's not actually that bad. Now, I believe to find out where Methrodel is, I think we have to speak to a beggar, and it looks like one's over here. Yep. What up, baby? Where the hell is Methhead at? I'm saving up enough for some medicine. <laughs> That's a lovely. Where's Methhead? She's hiding in Denari Amnesty's house over in the Talus Plaza district. She's one of the few that escaped when Lex invaded the waterfront. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you. You've been most helpful. I love the voices on the beggars. I don't know why. It doesn't just happen with the chicks. It's the same with the dudes as well. Like, they talk in one voice, and then when you actually speak to them directly, they talk in a completely different voice. There you are. I thought I'd lost my maid again. She keeps damn disappearing on me, and then I have no idea where the hell she is, so I have to load the game again. It's very, very irritating. Anyway, what the hell was I going to say? I was going to say something, and my mind's gone completely blank. Damn it. Oh, that's right, I remember now. I was gonna say I am completely and utterly shocked that I didn't actually have to bribe her to give me that information, because, like, damn, I cannot believe in the Thieves Guild, which is designed for you to make money, you spend so much of your money just bribing people so that you can actually get information to complete your damn missions. I mean, a lot of them you can just do with the dialogue wheel, but like I say, it takes freaking forever, it's boring as hell, and it's much easier just to slip them, you know, Speak. like 100 gold or something, I mean. At this point in the game, 100 gold is actually kind of a lot to us, but what can you do? Okay, so I believe we're in the right district. Yes. Where the hell? Oh, I've just gone past it. God damn it, brain. There we go. Okay, you better be in here. Oh, Jesus. You scared the crap out of me. I'm busy now. You need to talk to Methrodel. 
Oh, really? Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, we need more pressure on Lex. He's a stubborn fetcher. Welcome to my hideout. Hi, how's it it's going? It's good to see you. Yeah, well, the feelings aren't mutual. Tell me about the waterfront invasion. These are foul times for us. Armand is under house arrest again. Our business in the waterfront is totally shut down. We need to get Hieronymus Lex to lift his siege. I have put together a plan. A plan? I don't trust your plan at all, but let me hear you it. You and four other operatives will stage high-profile thefts all at the same time. Hopefully that will force Lex to reassign the Watchmen. Your target is the Arcane University. We've had our eye on Rormir's staff for some time, but have been waiting for the wizards to be distracted. This is the perfect time. Will you help us? No. Piss off. I'm kidding. I knew the Grey Fox could count on you. The staff is in the Archmage's room. He sleeps between one and seven in the morning. How do you know this? Take this note. Leave it in his nightstand. Bring me the staff when you get it. Well, okay. And by the way, did someone paint your eyebrows on? Because uh, they look wonky. And tell me the Grey Fox. I much about him when I first joined the Thieves' Guild. Lately, I've been hearing odd things, though. That grey cowl he wears was stolen from Nocturnal herself. Can you imagine having the nerve to steal from a Diedrich Lord? Okay, first of all, it's Daedric, not Diedrich. Shadow and uh, second of all, yes, because I'm pretty sure I have at some points. I really want to steal that freaking dagger. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Now, let me show you where we are on the map, because uh, the Arcane University is a long way away. We are there, and it's all the freaking way down there, yes. That's how ginormous this place is. It's ridiculous. Hello there. Okay, we have arrived. You can tell from the fact that the frame rate just halves here. I have no idea what the Better Cities mod maker actually put here to half the frame rate, but like, damn, it just kills it here. It's insane. Okay, so I believe this here, it's we're not allowed in, but uh, aha. Somehow they are not looking at me and whatever, I will take it. Oh shit, there's a guy right there. And he's, he's got his back to me. Don't, don't turn around, and, yes, okay. That, believe it or not, is the hard part. We got extremely lucky there. Yoink. Well, okay, that was easy, right. So where's his nightstand? This, I guess? That's locked. Wait, what? How did, how did I put the note in the damn thing when it's, uh, uh, you know, whatever, I will take it. And speaking of taking things, ah, uh, give me all of the loots. We, we in this freaking well. We are so damn poor. We need everything we can get our hands on. And the crystal ball can suck it. I've got a couple of those that we'll put in our house when we actually decorate it. Because, yes, I'm going to decorate the shit out of our house when we get around to that. But, uh, you know, screw it. I guess we'll open this box and see what's in here whilst we're here. Well, there went a bunch of lockpicks. Now I've got a feeling, yeah, it's empty. So I believe, and I think I'm right about this, but I believe you can actually duplicate items in here. But I've got a strange feeling it's only certain items like uh, alchemy ingredients or something like that. So we'll put that in there. We'll come back and check it later, and hopefully we'll have two of them, but, uh, yeah, I don't think it works on anything, and I've got a strange feeling that's some kind of reward you get for doing the Mage Guild's quest. I might be wrong about that, but i got a feeling that's the case. Now, I think these, uh, glass daggers in here are just gonna be replicas that are gonna be worthless, but screw it, we'll open it just in case. Ah, we're in, so, moment of truth, are they replicas? Please be the real- God damn it! Well, shit, that was a waste of lockpicks. I guess we'll take them anyway, because, you know, we can stick them in our house or something. Even though I probably won't, because, you know, you may as well just use real ones. Whatever. Let's get the hell out of here and go back to Mithridil. I understand the real... A string of thefts... One of meth head, I'm back. Did you miss me? I'm glad you're here. We have work to do. And yet here you sit doing jack shit. I got you the stuff. You have the ice staff? Yes, you moron. Excellent. Yours is the last item on the list. Now we just wait for the powers that be to pull the plug on Hieronymus Lex's siege. Your face creeps me out. I want you to know this. Okay, what do we do whilst Good we wait? question. I want you to spy on Hieronymus Lex. Make sure you stay close enough to overhear any conversations. Okay. Sooner or later they will order him to return the guards to their original posts. When that happens, come and tell me. 
Alrighty, I'm gonna end it here. Next time, we take out Hieronymus Lex. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate it. I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.